Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Rack and Tech. In this video we are going to learn how we can download and install Audacity. Then we will see how we can read all your files recorded using smartphones using Audacity. First of all go to Google, type in Audacity and click on the first link which says audacityteam.org. Scroll down and you will see this option download Audacity. Click on it. After clicking on it, we can see there are three options, Audacity for Windows, Mac OS, GNU Linux. Since uh, I'm installing it for uh, Windows, click on the uh, first option. So here we can download through installer and we can also download the save file. I prefer doing it through the installer, so I will click on this option. Now the new window will appear in front of us and there are again a lot of options here also. And there are uh, a lot of stuff written as well in the description and I do not prefer reading all of it so I will just go for the option which says download audacity windows installer which is here. So press click on this one and the size is 28 MB. So the download will start after a while and press ctrl j on your keyboard to see the download process i'll fast forward this for you guys so when the download is complete uh, click on show in folder okay double click on this application a pop-up window will appear in which we need to press yes or accept whatever uh, that comes in front of us Set your language to whatever you like, press OK, go on, click Next, uh, click Next again, this is simply information. This is uh, the installation directory, which is, uh, I prefer to keep it default, and I would like to create a desktop shortcut, click Next, press Install, wait a while, and let's see what happens. Okay, click on next and launch Audacity. Click on it and press and finish. Okay, so here we can see we have the Audacity shortcut in our desktop and we have Audacity. Okay, so let's, there, there are a lot of options here. Now what I'm going to do is I would like to open this file which I recorded in audio using my voice recorder in phone and this is .m4a extension file. Here we can see uh, the default installation will not help us open this file and we need something which is called ffmpeg library. So I'm going to show how we can actually open such files uh, using Audacity now. So, um, okay, go back to your browser and type in ffmpeg library and audacity and then press enter so here we can see, uh, see the first uh, manual.audacityteam.org link click on it and uh, here we have recommended installer which says go to the external ffmpeg download page there are a lot of options here and we need to um, read them before we go okay let's just go on this so here we have another page in which we have a lot of stuff again and let's just see what we have here okay so we have ffmpeg and lame on mac os but since we are doing it for windows so we are at the right place okay so it depends on the version as well which we are running so we will click on this um, um, okay, we have the zip file and we have the exe file. I prefer keeping exe file, so I'll press on this one. And here we have our download started. So there's a lot of stuff in this page. Definitely, they're providing support for different uh, operating systems. So they have a lot of options here. So now we need to wait till our download completes or we can just uh, press Control j here to see our download here it is so we need to wait a bit till this one gets completed and as soon as it completes we will press again on option which says show in folder here 
okay so we have uh, this application double click on it a pop-up window will appear press yes or accept whatever appears in front of you set the language click next click next again uh, this uh, is our destination location it should be same as that of the audacity installation click on install click on finish close these uh, apps okay so we need to close the audacity and refresh and then restart our audacity so these changes take um, place so now i will bring in the same file which was not opening in the first place and now if i open it and play it it will definitely play for me so so why do we need .m4a usually we record audio files using our phone and the output is .m4a while embedding the audio to a video using any tool like filmora or hit for film they usually do not support m4a in their free version hence the need for this approach so let me show you how we can convert these uh, extension files to web or any other uh, extension so go to file click on export click on export as wav we have a lot of options but i would show for export as web so go to desktop i would like to save it there and i would name it audio to audio for video okay and save it as soon as i save it i will see on the left side the new file will appear which extension would be wave so here we can see dot wave is the extension and the previous one was dot um, m4a so if we bring this into audacity uh, yeah if we drag and drop it we can clearly see that both files are almost identical okay so let's just close it thank you for watching this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel have a nice day